Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 27 of Direwolf 20's Enigmatic 2 Expert Series. Today, I'm snagging a couple feathers and a ghast here. Uh, cause I wanna do something that should be pretty cool. I wanna continue progressing through blood magic. Um, I've gotten a submission or two for a building, I have to check it out, but I saw one that looked really neat. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do the building structure today or not. Uh, but you can see I've been, uh, basically making lots of this. I moved my, um, for the time being, incense altar closer to the ritual pedestal. Now, uh, there is a book. A book, a book, a book, a book, a book about astral uh, that tells us, I think it's in this chapter. Is it in here or is it next chapter? It might be next chapter. There's a way to move it so that the ritual affects a different location. Um, but that might need to happen next chapter of astral. We'll find out though. How you doing, buddy? You're getting there. Boom, boom. Starting to get, starting to like this time in a bottle thing, I gotta say. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. Not complaining about it. Pretty nice. The time in a bottle is a cool little gadget. Um, so yeah, what we've got going on today is going to be a little bit more blood magic work, right? Um, and that kind of thing. All right, so one of the things we want to do... Uh, is get ourselves a bunch of blank runes, which shouldn't be too hard to get. I mean, we need eight specifically, um, but having a bit more would probably not be a bad thing. So, uh, 28 sounds like a good number. Hey, quest complete! Tier 2 altar. Nice. Alright, so quests. Blood magic. Tier 2 altar. Check. Ooh. Get more blank runes. I'll take them. You need a decent amount of these things, so that's cool. Uh, and then we need 20, and we need four sea lanterns. Is that an ore? Because it seems to be cool with the fact that I did this already, so that's neat. I guess sea lanterns is an option over glowstone for the tier 3 altar. We might be able to jump this guy straight up to a tier 3 altar, only because, um, you know, neat. I might do that. Let's get some glowstone, and then we can bump him straight up to tier three, and that would be cool. All right. Um, now, where's that book from Blood Magic that lets you see the structure that needs to be placed? I think it's just a book in the altar, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, it's just a book in the altar. Um, that's this one inspect us yes correct cool perfect so let's get you and let's get a little bit of sugar cane cool and while we're here we might as well Ooh, anti-block lime and cheddar and sour cream potato chips mmm sounds good I'll eat those for sure uh, I've been eating different foods and trying to get my my maximum health up um, and I also made some like easy food baguettes, pretty nice. Only only serve as grain, but they're pretty easy to make. So there's that. All right. Uh, so book goes in there. All right now, this is the point at which we're gonna have to be um, deciding if we want to build this structure up or build it down. Um, I, I haven't, you know, planned to do a, a blood magic building just yet um not this episode at least is what i'm thinking i'm not going to do one this episode so we'll have to see um exactly what we're going to do but for now at least uh let's maybe dig down so a neat trick for digging down might be let's do this um let's take our bag right uh we're going to destruction gadget So destruction gadgets, remember, will not destroy tile entities. But I think redstone, and I even think comparators, I forget if they're a tile entity or not. Uh, but your depth is going to be 5, and you're going to go down and up and left and right forward. Does that sound cool? Hey. it's not what I want. There we go. Um, does that sound good? Sure. 
Aha! Achievement get, make big mess. So that should make my life a little bit easier, right? So what we want to have, shift click, bro. Okay, you don't want to be friendly. So what we're going to do is that. So we basically want this for a tier two altar, right? So if we look at this guy, current tier two, nice. So we can see that also with this tier two on the top left. Um, if we want to see what the structure needs to look like for a tier three, I think what we do, set to tier three, do I right click this thing? Do I shift right click this? Th oh, there we go. Shift right click that thing. Cool. Um, so then we can do you. Wow, I accidentally crafted exactly as many blocks as I needed to in order to have a tier three altar. That was purely by mistake. I just randomly crafted blocks. I did not actually intend for that result, but I'll take it. So again, this will be like a temporary thing. And we'll see what happens if I undo the build here, but in theory, it should be okay. So these don't have to be stone bricks, but we're gonna make them stone bricks, right? And I don't think that has to be air, right? So there's a uh, glowstone on top of that. Okay, um, baguette come back here. And this should be a tier three altar right now. Tier three, top left, cool. Now if I undo this build, or this voiding, are you still a tier three? Yep, far as far as the mod's concerned, doesn't need air around it, okay? So I'll call that a win, I'll call that cool. Um, so that's a tier three altar, boom and boom, nice. All right, so you, it's nap time. There we go. Next step will be I want to get a tier two rune. So let's uh, let's make sure that we have 64 of these in here, right? So that when I put this in, he should not be pulled out because we have 64. I specified this to be 64 as I was working on it, but I should probably bring him down to 32. Okay, so that should make that happen. I probably should have time sped this up, but at this point it feels like not necessary, right? But I can put that in there now, and now I have the resources needed to make the thing that I've been wanting to make. Uh, so I need one of you, and I need to combine you with these two. Something like this. I thought it was a gas tier that I needed. What I want is an air sigil. So I need gas tier with, yes. Oh, it's a Hellfire Forge recipe. Well, there's your problem. Cool. So you with these guys, and we'll put this in there. So this should be good. We'll see how good my uh, stuff works out. So you with this and that. Ta-da! Hooray, air sigil. All right, so what's this guy looking like? Current essence, 200 LP. Let's charge that up a little bit. And let's even get this guy going. So that we have a little bit more essence internally. Okay. And then eat some pancakes. And get you ready. And let's try out our new air sigil. Cool. All right, so you're doing your thing. Hooray! A relatively doable form of flight. For not too much. It doesn't have the whoosh sound effect anymore. To be fair, I don't think I've made this thing in... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so, yeah, that's what happens if uh, you run low on LP. It starts to hurt. 
uh, to do that. But uh, it works. It works. That, you know, it's not creative level flight, but it's a very fast way to get around. Much faster probably than the slime sling. Um, and you don't have the whole bouncing into the ground thing, right? Like if I wanted to, let's first speed you up, right? Speed up the accumulation of LP here so that we can store a decent amount. Okay, give me some regens. Right, so now we're at like 5,000 LP, which might be the cap for this tier, right? Dude, that's not bad. Getting around town, that's pretty good, right? Definitely faster to get over here. Um, than it was before. And hey, are you done, by the way? Uh, yeah, you're stage four. What's up? So what kind of attributes did I get on you, huh? Not terrible. Purity 47%. Whoosh, and away we go. That, that is cool. I might want to get rid of my bouncy boots now that I have this going. Um, but I think we should wait until we have a more reliable form of LP generation to do that. Um, but overall, that ain't bad, dudes. That's, that's, that's pretty good. So that's the thing that I wanted to get into Blood Magic for specifically was the air sigil. Now there's other sigils. Um, oh my, there's more sigils than I remember. Oh, Animus adds sigils. That's cool. I didn't know Animus added sigils. I'm gonna have to look at what these sigils are. Sigil of the Fast Builder, Sigil of Acquisition, Sigil of Phantom Chains, Consumption. Storm, Nature's Leech. So there's five sigils that are added by Animus, right? Um, and then we've got Infinite Water, Lava Production Sigil, Void Sigil, Green Grove is always a nice one. Remember that that makes plants grow faster. And by the way, this thing also makes plants grow much, much faster. Um, sigil of Bloodland is a nice one to have, right? Uh, that's a really nice one. There's a few that we might want to get. Um, yeah, but uh, let's come back in a minute here now that we've got this going. And, uh, you know, we'll decide if there's any other sigils that we want to have at some point. But for now, at least, we are cool. And I have a form of flight. It's not, it's not the best form of flight, but it's a pretty darn good one. At least for this stage of the game. All right, so next task. <laughs> Goodness, I need I need like I need a dank null just from mob drops. Every time I walk out my my building, my inventory fills up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Every time I walk outside, I'm all like, all right, we're ready to do something. Oh, there's mobs outside. Now I have to clean up my inventory because everywhere, junk everywhere. I already have the side metal helmet. Cool. It's neat though. It's neat though. It's neat that we get all these all these cool things and whatnot. All right, are you cool now? I think you're cool. I think you're cool. Yeah, you're pretty cool. All right, so what I want to do now, whoosh. Oh man, that is fun. I'm, I'm probably not gonna want my slime boots anymore to be fair, but that is fun and I need more armor. Uh, but I spent a little bit of time getting some reinforced slates. Uh, so that was easy enough. And now what we want to do is upgrade our um, stuff. So you're at a tier three right now. So let's get a Victus crystal in there and do a little bit of that so that you can do that, okay? Regenning up. This is what I've been doing off camera uh, for a lot of this episode is just coming over here, getting my regen from this guy, eating up a little bit of baguette, and then boom, we've got, boom, that's cool. All right, um, so now I wanna use this, hey, good job, quest complete, uh, to upgrade some of these runes that we have, right? Um, so if I got my destruction gadget at that, are you tile entities? You're probably tile entities, not tile entities. The blank runes are probably not tile entities. So I'm gonna say it would probably be a bad idea to void them because it would actually remove them. But let's get some capacity runes, right? So it's gonna need a bunch of buckets and some stone burn from extra utilities. Look at you. <gasps> Imbued slate is the tier three one. Runes of 
Capacity near the tier three one, huh? Self sacrifice needs the tier two one, but capacity needs the tier three one. All right, um, we're gonna need some extra utilities to stone bird, huh? That shouldn't be impossible to make, right? We just need a resonator. I don't think we've gotten into extra utilities stuff just yet, uh, but it should be doable. Do have we gotten? Yes, we've gotten some of these, right? So let's get a resonator. Which needs, whoa, a lot of things. A lot of things, glass and a block of coal coke and steel plate and machine blocks, which needs reinforced stone or iron sheet metal. That's not terrible. I can get vacuum tubes and polished stone. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, is there, ooh, there's an even better one. Polished stone, a sturdy casing, and three iron electron tubes. Let's do that. Let's do that. I like that. So this, this, over here. Cool, and a little bit of glass. I think two is possibly what we need. Turn the redstone signal off, which means you're gonna heat up and make those iron electron tubes, right? Three machine blocks we'll get from this recipe. I wanna do this one because we get you know more machine blocks, obviously. Hooray, cool. And you go back to not having power because I don't like a power drain on my network, cool. So machine blocks also need polished stone and a sturdy casing, which we might have some sturdy casings. We do, hooray. Uh, and polished stone, to my knowledge, is, I think I have been smelting cobble over here, right? I have. It should just be this and that. Hooray, that recipe has not been changed. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so that should be machine blocks. Okay. Cool, that's nice. All right, so then um, we need Chinese chiseled glass. That is actually very specific. <laughs> okay, hey, extra utilities quest, nice. Uh, stealing gets times four, we'll get us plates. Just enough before we ran out of power and that silly thing. I still have to fix the thingy, um, right? So then uh, some advanced control circuits, which is, oh, okay. Four enriched alloys and a basic control circuit. Now I thought I had a few of these. Maybe I don't though. Oh, I do four of these and a basic control circuit, right? So we need actually eight of those, and that's osmium and the redstone thing. So we've got eight of these, right? Then we just need an osmium ingot. And the redstone thing. Hey, look, more of those. To be fair, I've been kind of keeping these things in here. Cool, and then a touch of redstone. And that should be that, beautiful. Okay, now we need uh, our chisel so we can make chiseled glass. Cool, and uh, now we just need a block of coal coke, which we might not have a problem making. I don't know the last time I had this thing running, by the way, but hey, it looks like it's doing a good job. Okay. We have a lot of cold coke, so we're cool. Hey, a resonator, woot. All right, this has kind of been my miscellaneous materials area. Um, so now, uh, we need some extra utilities power, right? A uh, manual mill is probably what we're looking for. Hey, good, that recipe's not terrible. That should be enough to make stone burn, right? Now here's gonna be the trick that I'm gonna do. Mm, I need two more of them. Manual mill. Is 
you, you're, we've got one of those already, right? So two of these, and that should be cool. Ah, we're gonna need that other, we do need two of them eventually, but we'll get to it, okay? So for now, we can pop this dude here, we can put our this stuff in here, and as we run this, right, you're gonna run. Now check this out. See that? Speed upgrades. <laughs> Speed upgrades for free. How much of this stone burn are we gonna get? That's a really good question. I'm gonna find out in a second. As soon as it's done, because it runs for 30 seconds, remember, right? It, it speeds up the text of the block for 30 seconds. I love this time in a bottle. This time in a bottle is the best. Wow, we got a lot of stone burn. <laughs> Can you tell Dyer's a little excited by that stone burn quality? That was a lot of stone burn, right? That is cool. All right, uh, so there's a whole bunch of stone burn really fast. <laughs> Time in a bottle is the best. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got this, uh, we should be good to make uh, that thing that we need. Uh, so let's get ourselves a bunch of buckets and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got it now that I've got uh, the imbued slates whitelisted, which means that they're being worked on. I, I'd like to make um, some better runes though. Um, I made my iron plates, which is cool. Right. Are you all done here, buddy? Are you still there? So can I make self-sacrifice runes? Because I think those are tier two. All right, so I need a blank rune, some kind of smooth stone, and just some glowstone, which should be doable. Oh, I'm liking this. I am liking this. Really still think I need to not have the jumpiness, but I'm liking this. Just saying. Just saying I'm liking it. Um... Very cool, very cool. So let's make some runes of self-sacrifice, right? So what I'm gonna do is basically borrow this for a minute, steal all that. Wow, how did you, oh, that's right. Did you re return the water that was here? Didn't realize you would do that, but that's cool. Sweet. Hey, there's, there's, there's what I'm looking for. I just want access to you if I may. Thanks, buddy. Now, did I accidentally break a rune? I might have. I think I did. There we go. Cool. All right. All right. So I've now got six runes of self-sacrifice, which should be very helpful. And then we also want to upgrade um, the other thing here, right? But we'll, we'll tackle that in a minute. So that should be a tier three altar again, correct? Yay, tier three altar. And this, nice. That's what's up. That is absolutely what's up. Beautiful. All right, cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is remove the reinforced slate from the whitelist for a minute, uh, cause I'm using uh, some of those. So you should, oh, that's right, comparator. I had to break you to do the thing. So you should be good there now. A little bit of regen, a little bit of good things working. Cool. And you're gonna do your thing. Speed upgrades, haha! -ha! So that'll get you up to a tier three thingy, which is good. And then I can do that thing again. That gets me another up to 10,000. So that maxes it out. We definitely need some of those augmented guys now, um, which is what we're gonna make pretty much immediately. Um, cool. Okay, so you're doing actually a perfect job of being well automated. So do I have enough for five of these yet? I might want one more, so let's do that. Okay, so that'll get me one more slate, which will be five, which will be across the bottom line there, which will be good. Let's 
Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Booyah. Okay. There it is. Imbued slates times five, right? So let's get buckets. So I just threw a stack of iron into the into the thingy, right? Rune of capacity just needs blank runes. So we go down here. Borrow you guys. Did you grab? Oh, you did grab all twenty. My bad. <laughs> Let's uh, maybe resolve that. I didn't think you would chain like that, but okay, so you did. I mean, we'll eventually upgrade all of these, right? All right, so that should be cool. Whoosh, loving it. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. All right, rune of capacity now, right? which has a max of 20,000 LP, beautiful. So we're probably gonna want just a handful more of those, right? Sweet. Okay. So if we got 10,000 from five, we're gonna need about three more uh, to hit 25K in theory. Now, why did you get me so much, so little life essence from that? interesting gotta love how fast you sleep with that charm isn't it the best nice all right so let me get this taken care of and we will be back in a minute so you know what guys it's occurring to me i might actually want five more of these so let's do it um actually let's let you finish Right. The reason I'm going to want five more of these is uh, I'm going to eventually have a better incense altar, plus more runes of self-sacrifice, plus having all this health from eating all this food. Having a large buffer uh, of LP inside this altar is probably going to be good. So I'm going to bump this up with another five. Right. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Uh, I can just drop you down here. There we go. Cool. I'm 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 really enjoying the air sigil. A little excited. Can you tell? Wow, I burned through buckets very quickly. Uh, another half a stack of buckets worth of iron. Uh, so I'm sure I have some mob drops in here, right? Or is it just my inventory is a mess like usual? Kind of just the standard messy inventory. Actually, I'm going to hang on to you for a sec. I'll clean you up in a different way. Um, put away you for the time being. So another half a stack of iron. Turning it into plates. Nope, that's the one. <laughs> I'm getting a little addicted to the time in a bottle. But I always get addicted to, to, to tick upgrade items. Like, they're, they're super broken and terrible, and you should never use them, but boy, are they fun. Boy, are they fun. All right, so more you. Now more runes of capacity. We should be cool. Perfect. Cool, 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 cool. So you can store 30k, which is nice. Okay. So now that we've got you taken care of, right? So we've got a happy tier three. Uh, we need a block of thaumium. Right? So what I'm going to do, actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, ditch the boots. The boots are great. So here's a question. If the boots aren't on, do I take fall damage? I totally take a decent amount of fall damage. But, like, if I time it right, I should be cool. Yeah, we might not want slime boots on with this air sigil guy. Alright, 
So that should be the last one of those going in to be tier three upgraded. And then, uh, all right, let's go get a block of Thaumium, right? Whoosh. At some point, I'm going to run out of LP. I don't know when, but at some point. Okay, so, uh, Thaumium ingots. Do I not have any at the moment? That's all right, we'll get some. Basically, we need nine. Okay. Uh, you, sir, turn off. This turns on. Thaumium, go. Now, hopefully you have the appropriate amount of magicalness, but you may not. You seem a little bit short on magical poweriness. Uh, Salus usually has enough. We might need to make more Salus Mundus, but that's usually not too bad to make, right? It's three different crystals. How are we for crystals over here? Uh, we definitely have a lot of air, so let's grab those. And then we need like a bowl and some flint. I think I have most of what I need and redstone usually. There might be redstone over here. Yeah, there is, cool. So there's a bowl. Let's grab uh, some Victus crystals and some Terra crystals. Does that sound cool? I think that sounds cool. All right. Uh, so you with three different types of crystals, redstone, and it's flint, isn't it? I think it's flint. Hooray, that gets us, wow. You are a little bit funny about that, aren't you? No, wait, 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 it went, it went. It was just being a little bit laggy. That's cool. All right, so you can go away. We'll put away this extra flint. Actually, it didn't use up the flint, so that's also cool. All right, and then a little bit more Salus. Because it never hurts to have a little extra of that stuff. Quest complete, Thaumium. Really, that was a quest that I hadn't completed yet? Today I learned. All right, so with you set, up. Oh, remember I said we're gonna run out soon? We ran out. We ran out of LP, it's all right, it's cool. It's all good. We're gonna have more than we know what to do with hopefully soonish. All right, so now we need 25K, which shouldn't be too hard to fill up. Then we can get a tier three orb. And then what I wanna do is improve my incense altar so that things are better for us. And maybe more Ruins of Self-Sacrifice, because that would also be cool. <coughs> Between the Incense Altar and the Ruins of Self-Sacrifice, we should have a point where we're, like, practically filling this up in one shot. Which is neat. How are we for Tier 2 Ruins? We're actually really good on Reinforced Slates. So we should have enough to make... Yeah. Enough of those. I want to get 20... No, 10, 10 of those, so that should be plenty. Right, so you're making this thing. Let's, why not? And then eventually we will have um, a blood magic building. We'll have this um, regen crystal in such a place, probably underneath the altar in the building, so that it's pretty much just always affecting me. And then we're gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put the incense altar, um, but we'll see. Hey, look at that, a tier three orb. Hooray, it's bound to me. Cool. All right, so let's upgrade these guys real quick. Quest complete. Hooray. Is it getting nighttime ish? Yeah. Self sacrifice. Booyah. So you're going to need you guys. You're going to need you guys. And you're going to need this and this. And that should be 10 of those. Perfect. So even without a good incense altar, we're going to have a good amount of LP per click here now. Okay. Um, right, because I'm holding shift. Uh, let's see. Did I eat all my food? I might have. All right, real quick. What's up, regeneration? You gonna heal me or what? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Cool. Taking a nap, and we'll be right back. Is it me or is my max health lower than it used to be as of like two minutes ago? You don't think it's because I got low on fruit, do you? Oh, right, because you're 
your thing. Uh, hey, let's do you for a minute. Let's eat more fruit for a minute, just to see if the health thing as a result of being... I didn't think, but maybe. Maybe. Maybe the fruit is what was causing it. I have snow, right? Yes. And I have bone meal. We do have to wrap up the episode, by the way, pretty darn soon. But I just want to see if uh, I'm correct about this fruit being the reason that my health is not behaving itself so well. Come here, you. By the way, I think I mentioned this earlier in the episode, but that ritual totally speeds up. Um, totally speeds up crop growth. You should probably just not be here right now. Just in case I accidentally did something. Uh, so the snow is with the juicer. Juicer. Nice. Okay. So juicer goes away. Strawberries goes away. And now that we're back up above uh, 80% fruit, I'm curious if I have those extra hearts. Huh. What is up with that? I don't, I didn't think. What else might have been giving me hearts? I can't think of what else was giving me hearts. Oh, well, not super concerned. Wrapping up point for the episode. What I'm going to do is drop my Magician's Blood Orb in here. Um, I don't know how much you're allowed to store but I'm hoping it's a lot, right? I don't know what the cap is on LP, but I'm hoping it's a lot, okay? Uh, but for now, wrapping up point, we'll come back next time and uh, we should have a little bit more fun with blood magic. We'll see if there's any other cool OP items we can get. Um, wow, either you absorbed that really quick or you got nothing. How are we for LP? Yeah, 42k. That should that should last me a while in terms of sigil flight. It should last me a good while. 43k. Yeah, it's going up. Nice. All right, guys. That was my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. More magical questing stuff. I think we can progress in natural sorcery now, by the way. Take it easy.